Police pull up to the scene of an accident. A woman has been rear-ended by another driver while stopped at a red light. She's about to be shocked at what happens next. Within minutes of the officers arriving, she says she went from being an accident victim to being allegedly groped by a cop. I was shocked that anybody was touching me like that. Amanda Houghton looks to be disoriented when cops got there. She says it was due to the shock of the accident. But police insisted she take a field sobriety test to see if she was intoxicated. They told her to walk a straight line and do a balance test. The next thing she knew, she was in handcuffs. I'm gonna place you under arrest for DUI. Do you have anything illegal on you? No. When Amanda's husband Matt arrived at the scene, he was warned to stay back. Stay there. Okay. That's when the officer started searching her. Look at what he did. Stop. Don't touch okay. me. I I can search you, and that's what I'm doing. You do you not pull away from me. Here. You can't okay. my husband here. Hey, I'm gonna search you. Well, you're like my husband not. here. No, you you don't get a. Okay. No one's groping you. There's a little camera right there. Pay attention to it. Okay. Don't pull away from me again. No, I won't. Come over here on the curb and have a seat. I start yelling at them, you know, that this is not right. And he said, you turn around or I'm going to arrest you. Amanda was taken to Layton, Utah Police Headquarters where a blood test was administered. It came back negative, yet she was still charged with being under the influence and also resisting arrest. When she jumps back, you call that resisting arrest? That's embarrassing. You don't treat people like that. You definitely don't treat an accident victim like that. We showed the video to retired Los Angeles Police Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey. She says the technique the officer used when he examined Amanda's chest was standard, but he could have waited for a female officer to do it. It's a little empathy and a little compassion. It's, that could be my wife. How would I want a male officer to treat my wife or my sister or my daughter? Don't touch me. The police department stands by the officer saying he followed proper procedures and acted appropriately.